What's up everybody on YouTube, AJ Rose back here with another video, and today we'll be recapping all of the games across NFL Week 2. Let's get it. So last week's video ended up being a lot longer than I wanted it to be. I want these videos to try to be like 5 to 8 minutes, but that one was like 13 minutes, so... Yeah, we gotta trim that down for sure. So talking about all the action across the league, there was a lot of games. I had various games like the Dolphins and the Ravens, which had a huge comeback. The Dolphins were down 28 to seven in the first, um, in, the, in the like fourth quarter, and they ended up coming back on the Ravens, and they ended up coming back, and Tua looked really good, connecting with all his receivers, with Tyreek Hill, with Jalen Waddle, and all those things. It seems like the Ravens defense had collapsed. They have a young secondary, so that was something to talk about there, but. The Dolphins really are a real threat. People were down to it going into the season saying that um, comparing him to Justin Herbert and everything. But I was watching first take as you can see right there earlier and get up earlier. And that Tua actually has like a 15 and 8 record in all of his starts. And Justin Herbert has like 16 and 18 record in his starts. So, I mean, regardless of what's going on about the Dolphins, I mean, Tua is putting up numbers. Another wild game that took place this weekend was between the Arizona Cardinals and the Las Vegas Raiders. Of course, an individual matchup. And there was a lot of wild action that took place and went into overtime. Kyler Murray had two epic two point conversions one scrambling showing out his elusiveness and his speed just going off and um, what's called Hunter Riffro on the Las Vegas Raiders he ended up fumbling and the Cardinals defense took him to the house for a touchdown I mean that was a crazy finish I feel like the Cardinals they were looking bad against the Chiefs in week one but they had a great bounce back win and really it's putting a lot of questions about the Las Vegas Raiders because they lost of course in week one to the Chargers in that game Derek Carr looked a little bit suspect then and then the um, Raiders gave up that game to the Cardinals so I don't know, they're looking a little bit iffy. More games we can speed through real quick. You know, the um, Jets ended up beating the uh, Cleveland Browns, which is an impressive win. Joe Flacco has been the quarterback since Zach Wilson has been injured. Their number two pick um, last year in the 2021 draft. So the, the Jets are looking very respectable. They also got Sauce Gardner on the defensive end, so he's really good. Great lockdown defender. Um, also, the Broncos and Texans game took place. That was a really like ugly little game, but the Broncos ended up prevailing and winning that game, um, which is not surprising. Texas, oh, I mean, Texans are 0 0 1 now. Broncos. The Broncos and the Raiders in that division, they really seem like they're going to be like the third and fourth team. And, um, and, and the Chiefs and Chargers are going to be the top two. But talking about the Chiefs and Chargers, they also had another good game. That, that was the first game of last week, um, last Thursday. And hopefully Justin Herbert is good. But that was a little good matchup between Justin Herbert and Patrick Mahomes. We're going to be seeing them play against each other for years to come in divisional rivalry. Two of the great top, um, top five to ten quarterbacks, for sure, Mahomes in top five. Um, Justin Herbert is in top five and other people's lists just depends, but he's definitely up there. So that was a good game. Hopefully his ribs are all right because he ended up taking a huge hit last Thursday, but that was also another good game. The Chiefs have won that game 27 to 24. Um, it's Tuesday right now, so I'm gonna talk about the Monday night games real quick. The Monday night games um, was took place between the Bills and the Titans and then the Eagles and the Vikings. Talking about the Bills and the Titans real quick, that was a blowout. I mean, Josh Allen, he had this incredible hurdle over one of the Titans defenders, but I mean, the Bills are looking like definitely Super Bowl favorites from the AFC side, but the AFC is super stacked, so we'll see how that transpires and how things go. Also, the Eagles and Vikings game. Man, the Eagles look really good, bro. Their defense looks great. Darius Slay had two picks of his own on Kirk Cousins, and Kirk Cousins threw three picks. I mean, Kirk Cousins is who he is, in my opinion. But anyways, anyways with that, Jalen Hurts looks really good. Had, had, over, had over like 333 passing yards, something like that. So, hey, he's looking really good. I've always liked Jalen Hurts. Very athletic, also from Houston. So, I mean, respect for that. So, just hope he continues to play good, and you got to respect their team. And they also have A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith. I mean, the Eagles really look like they could be a nice threat this season. It's still early, but they really look formidable. Some more quick games we can just go through real quick. The Lions ended up beating the Commanders, which was a pretty impressive win from the Lions. I mean, the Lions, they're not the best team, but they definitely play hard, so you got to respect that. Also, the Giants ended up being, uh, beating the Carolina Panthers as well. The Giants look really good. Shout out to Saquon Barkley. Uh, he's my fantasy running back, so keep balling out, bro. So. Love that. Also, the Dallas Cowboys ended up being beating the Cincinnati Bengals. A surprising win, nevertheless. Of course, we know Dak Prescott injured his thumb and had thumb surgery. But, hey, the Cowboys defense stepped up, showing that they're one of the best defenses in the league. Michael Parsons is that dude. If y'all watch my NFL season predictions video, y'all know that I picked him for defensive player of the year. So, we'll see about that. Like, Stephen A. Smith right there says he thinks he's the second coming of Lawrence Taylor. I mean, that guy is definitely him. So, we'll see how um, the Cowboys do. But the Bengals, man, talking about them, bro, like... Did they have a fluke year last year? I mean, obviously we know Joe Burrow, he got sacked a lot last year in spite of them still going to the Super Bowl, but now the offensive line still looks that same level. People thought that their offensive line was gonna look better this year, but 
I don't know, man. So we'll see about that. I mean, him and Jamar Chase, I mean, they're great together, but they really got to work on that O-line. And I, and I think it's still early. It's week two, so I mean, things can obviously change throughout the season. There's 17, 18 weeks in the regular season, so a lot can change. The Patriots ended up beating, beating the Steelers 17-14. to The Patriots were able to grab their first win. There's been a lot of controversy around them because, you know, their offensive coordinator from the last few seasons, Josh McDaniels, is now the head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders, so they were having offensive issues, but they were able to grab their first win against the Steelers like last week, so that was good. Also, the Rams played against the the Atlanta Falcons, and the Rams, they looked bad against the um, against the Bills in the first week, but they were able to bounce back against the Falcons team. I mean, really, the Falcons aren't that good, but Jalen Ramsey had a tough little intercept, interception to help steal the game for the Rams, so that was impressive. And then also, the Bucks beat the Saints this past week. There was a huge brawl between Mike Evans and LaShawn, LaShawn Matt, um, Lattimore. Um, that was that was interesting to see. Also, Tom Brady I got a little frustrated earlier in the game. I, I remember I was watching it on his helmet and stuff. The Saints tend to do that to him. I mean, the Saints, they, the defense-wise, they have their they have the Bucks number, you can tell that. But offensively, I mean Jameis Winston threw three interceptions in the fourth quarter. Like that is crazy. Like um the defense was saying, Tampa Bay's defense was saying, like we know Jameis Winston, they knew that he was gonna make a mistake, so that's crazy. So I feel like the Saints, I mean, the Jameis can just be smart and not get on his own heads, try, stop trying to make the big plays all the time. The Saints could really be a NFC Super Bowl contender, but it all depends on that. Another little game we can just rush through real quick. The Jaguars ended up beating the Colts 24-0. There's a lot of questions surrounding the Colts. I mean, they just can't seem to find their quarterback after losing Andrew Luck to retirement a few weeks ago. I mean, not a few weeks, a few years ago, bro. Like, they just had a lot of questions. Of course, having Carson Wentz last year, now Matt, they got Matt Ryan, but Matt Ryan's older now, so he's not the same player that he was like his, in, in his MVP season in 2016-17. So I don't know. The Colts have a great defense, but I feel like if, they, if they're if they bad this year or if they're just mediocre, they can try to trade up in, in the next year's draft to try to get someone like, um, like what's it called, C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young. That would be really good to have a great, you know, young quarterback going into the future. I think that's what they need because, I mean, it's hard to get a franchise quarterback right now, so... Yeah, but there's a lot of questions surrounding them. We're down to the final two games that I haven't talked about yet. Of course, the 49ers against the Seahawks and then the Chicago Bears against the Green Bay Packers. Let's talk about the 49ers first, man. Praying for Trey Lance, bro. From the 2021 draft, he's my favorite quarterback. He obviously didn't get to play that much in his you know, junior year in 2020, but I think he really has a bright future, has a lot of potential in my opinion, a great athletic quarterback. He just needs to get into his own. I mean, he has a basically close to an NFL, I mean, not NFL, Super Bowl ready roster already. So I think that the 49ers keeping Jimmy G, I mean, that helps them try to accomplish those goals. But I think Trey Lance in the future is gonna be able to help them see to that future. So we'll see to that, but definitely he, um, hope he recovers from his ankle injury and has a great 2023 season next year. And and they also won that game 27 to 7 so jimmy g stepped in was a professional that he is a great game manager of course so yeah and then the last game of course the chicago bears against the packers that took place sunday night um the packers i mean they really they, they show that they're that, that they're a great team of course they lost to the vikings in week one and the vikings look really bad against the eagles i mean there's a lot of different levels to it i mean obviously it's still earlier in the year but uh, that was a good win for them. I think that the Chicago Bears, they have potential as well. Justin Fields, I think he's going to be a good quarterback. Um, just They just have a young team, but that's really all that it was. Let me know in the comments down below how your team is doing, who you think some of the favorites are right now to be Super Bowl contenders, who some of the most disappointing teams are in your opinions right now. So, yeah, like I said, I'm enjoying doing this little weekly recap series for all NFL weeks. I'm going to try to do them throughout all the regular season and playoffs as well. So, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what your opinions are. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at SwaggyRust. Also, TikTok at SwaggyRust02. Just stay tuned for more content. Like I said, trying to post one to two videos per week. Obviously, I'm here at college right now, so I'm doing as much as I can. TikTok-wise, I'm going to try to post more. I mean, I, I can't cook right now, but when I visit home, I mean, y'all already know what I'm on. So, yeah, I appreciate all the support. Always, y'all be blessed. Hope y'all are taking care. Have a good one, and appreciate y'all.